it's time for the 15-minute faith fill-up. I'm the senior pastor of the Connected Christian Church, Pastor Derek Galloway. I'm so excited you took your time out to join us on this morning to get your day started with the Word of God and with prayer. I want to thank those that joined on to the Promised Land 22 Days of Prayer uh, where I was on last night and those that uh, joined on and shared and everything else. Uh, Deacon Sandy, Sister Brenda, Sister Demetria. I want to thank you guys for doing that because it was such an important thing. And I want to always thank the Promised Land for including me back into some of the things that we do as ministry partners. So without further ado, what I want to do is I want to give you an opportunity uh, to get your Bibles in order. Okay, we're going to be coming out of 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 10, verse 13. I'll be reading from the New Living Translation of the Holy Bible. We're going to go into a word of prayer, and we're going to go from there. All right, so we're also going to have a couple of quick announcements that are going to be running right afterwards. So be mindful, please, ma'am, please, sir. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe on this post. And if you like what you hear on here, make sure you send us your hearts. Make sure you send us your likes. If you uh, want to share this with somebody, you think it could benefit their day, feel free to do so. And if, remember, if you want to get this content delivered directly to you, make sure that you join us on our YouTube channel at Get Connected SYR. Let's go into a word of prayer and then we'll be right into the message. All right, let's go. Father, we thank you right now for waking us up this morning or keeping us during the night. Father, we thank you that there was no hurt, harm, or danger that befall us on last night, God, and that last night was definitely not our last night. So, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We ask that every person who has a has an ear, let them hear the sound that comes from heaven. Now, Father, we ask that you allow me to decrease, that the word of God would increase, that it would be delivered according to the way you want it set up. In Jesus' name we pray, and all of God's people will say amen. Hey, we'll be right back. I want you to pay attention to the announcements and let's go. Good morning. These are your announcements for today, Sunday, January 16th. Govern yourselves accordingly. In observance of Martin Luther King's birthday, which is observed on January the 17th, the offices of the Connected Church will be closed. We will reopen on Tuesday in enough time for our Zoom Bible study. We're online during the month of January. You see the meeting ID available on the flyer. Join us at 6.30 to 7.30 and let's open the Bible. Our New Year, New You 2022 Vision Board Party, January 22nd, 6 p.m. Information is contained on the fire, hosted by Pastor L. The book Focus is available on Barnes and Nobles and Amazon.com. Please get your copy today as we'll be going into the second quarter doing a Bible study on it.
It's time to bless the Lord through giving. There are four ways we give it connected, either in person, online, on our website at getconnectedsyr.org. You can text the word GIVE with your dollar amount to 315-270-3313 or in the Faith Life app. Thank you, and now it's time to go back to your regularly scheduled program. All right, we're back. I hope you enjoyed that. So listen, we want to give you a couple of quick things so you can be ready. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13 in the New Living Translation uh, says this. And again, you know, we, we always alternate between our Faith Life site and our Bible.com app. Uh, it says this, the temptation in your life is no different from what others experience. And God is faithful. He would not allow you the allow, allow the temptation to be more than you can stand. When you are tempted, He will show you a way out so that you can endure. Saints, I want to share with you this morning. Many of us feel that our situations we go through in life are so odd or just so uh, powerful that no one else would really understand what's going on. But understand that the Bible tells you clearly that there's no temptation that's different from what others experience, meaning there is no temptation that is not common to man. Whether you're dealing with issues of addiction, with lust, with low self-esteem, anything that can really move you away from what God would have for you in your life to be able to touch the blessings that he has, anything like that, uh, and you you got to think about this. You know, when we're in the middle of our trauma, when we're in the middle of our trial and tribulation, we always assume that everything is so end of time. But you've already survived 100% of the worst days that you've ever had to experience. 100% of the worst tragedies, 100% of the worst traumas, 100% of the worst letdowns, 100% of the worst backbiting. You've survived. How do I know? Because you're here listening right now. So the encouragement on this morning comes from knowing that there's nothing that God is going to allow in your life that has not already happened before. As a matter of fact, I want you to begin to take a look through the Holy Bible. There's tons of individuals that are in the Bible that endured temptation, that ended up getting restoration, and that were able to provide an area of duplication in their life, meaning that they were able to share with somebody else when they were tempted that God brought me out of it. And this is the reason why that's so important is because the Bible says that God is faithful. He's faithful. If he helped them in their experience, he will help you in your experience. He will not allow the temptations of life that you're dealing with to overtake you. And it, here's where we get the text from where it says he'll not allow more on you than you can bear. Understand that as long as you have God on your side, that Christ is your shield, your sword, your buckler, as they would call it. He is going before you as a vanguard in every situation of your life. He's faithful and he won't allow the temptation to be more than you can bear with him as your source. When you are tempted, and it's not saying if you're tempted, we know for a fact that when you're tempted, when you're tempted in these areas of your life, when you're tempted to give up, when you're tempted to give in, when you're tempted to walk away, when you're tempted to walk into situations, you have to always recognize he's going to show you a way of escape. I'm always reminded of my this wonderful movie. I love it so much, Brown Sugar. And in the middle of Brown Sugar, they were depicting, not Brown Sugar, uh, this had to be uh, the best man. In the middle of the best man, they were depicting this scene where the primary characters of, of Lance and uh, uh, <clears throat> the two characters with Tay Diggs and, uh, you know, Monica or Lisa Calhoun, whatever her name was, you know, were involved in a situation that could have gone the wrong direction. And what ends up happening? As you they're right in the middle of it, there was a skipping of the CD that had been played perfectly before. The mood had been set. Everything that was going to go on was ready to go on. And all of a sudden, there was this skipping. There was this stopping. There was this situation that broke the mood and the momentum. When you're going through situations, when you're going through temptations, God will always find a way to break the momentum. But as we've been talking about on the 22 Days of Prayer with the Promised Land, we want you to understand that you have to be in a position to where you can hear the sound 
that God is trying to send to you. If you can't hear it, then you're going to go right off into what it is that you were going into to begin with. But if you're in the right position, if you're in the right relationship with God, that means that when that sound comes, you'll hear it and you'll recognize it as the redeeming power of God operating in your life. Will you not understand when God does what he's supposed to do that you can actually get pulled back out of that darkness, out of that brokenness, out of those things that you thought that you had no, I, that you had the I can't help it song? If you're in the right place, then you will always recognize that sound that comes to stop you right in the middle of your situation. Can you say amen? The temptation is such that everyone who has experienced it, as long as they were able to hear the sound, was able to be pulled back out of it. But guess what? We serve such a redeeming father that even if we miss the sound and we fall into the temptation, he has a way of salvation to pull us back out of the darkness, pull us back out of the brokenness, to pull us back out of all of the things that we have gotten ourselves into as long as we repent, as long as we take our, to take our time and we begin to look and say, Father, I'm a sinner. I've done things that have been contrary to what you've taught me. And Father, I ask right now in the name of Jesus that you allow me to be redeemed in your kingdom. These are the things that we have to look at. And because God is such a faithful God, because he placed this plan of salvation in place, because he put it there from the foundations of the earth, he will redeem you. Not only will you redeem your soul, you will redeem the time that has been lost falling into temptation. Now, here's the thing. When you fall into it, when you fall into it, he's going to always make sure that that plan is in place. He allowed that plan to be put in place. Even in the Garden of Eden, he already knew that Christ was going to carry the cross. He sat as the author and finisher of our faith. He delivers us in the times where we need deliverance. He'll heal us in the time that we need healing. And when that temptation comes, he'll make sure that we have a way to get out. This is going to be the most important thing for your soul on this morning is realizing that even though you may be in the middle of it, he has a way for you to get out. Even though you may be uh, still caught up in it or you may have getting ready to enter into it, he has a way for you to get out. And as long as you are able to hear that sound, he will pull you out of your brokenness. Your heart will not be troubled. You don't have to worry. I've been young and now I'm old, but I've never seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed begging bread. If he blessed you in one area of your life, he will bless you in the next. If he kept you when you fell and picked you back up and put your feet upon a rock, he will do it again. If he pulled you when you were far from the peaceful shore, sinking to rise no more, if he pulled you up out of the sea, just like he did Peter when he began to doubt, when he stepped out of the boat and took his eyes off of Jesus, he will do it again in your life. He's faithful. He's a faithful God. He's a mighty God. Will you hear the sound when it's time for you to come out? I'm here to tell you today that if you want to give your life to God, today is as good a day as any. Tomorrow is not promised. As we see, there's so many situations that go on in our life that let us know clearly that tomorrow is not promised. Just because you're in the middle of your temptation doesn't mean that you can't give your life to God. And I encourage you, give your life to God today. Say, Father, I'm a sinner. I have sinned against you and I have sinned against myself. Father, heal me, restore me, and renew me. Bring me back into your kingdom as one of your children. And if you're not part of a church, I encourage you, get to a Bible-teaching, Bible-believing church. Get somewhere where you can learn the Word of God from the man or woman of God, and you can be edified and built up. The Bible says that faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the Word of God. But how should they hear without a preacher? And how should he preach without being sent? So get you a sent preacher. Get you somebody that can share the Word of God. If you want to join with us, we're at 107 East Beard between State and Salina, the beautiful city of Syracuse. Uh, we're right on the south side, one block from Colvin Street. This has been your 15-minute faith fill-up. I'm so excited you took time to join with us. Let's pray and go ahead and start your day. Let's go. Father, we thank you for this word that has come forth. We know that even in the midst of our temptation, our trials, our tribulations, and our turmoil, that you are faithful to the very end. You started a good work in us, and you'll complete it. So, Father, right now, we ask that you bless every man, woman, boy, and girl that's listening to this under the sound of my voice. Bless the replay to have anointing, God. Just as the bones in the, in the pit 
when the man was thrown in and he was able to be revived by the bones of Elisha, allow the replay to be as anointed as the initial as the initial playing. Father, we love you. We honor you. Now bless those that are here. Give them an opportunity to, to touch the hem of your garment for healing. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, listen, I want to thank you for joining in with us. It's been the 15-Minute Faith Fill-Up. Remember, like, share, and subscribe, and be blessed.